Hi, this is Elena, and you're watching Rosalina. And today I wanted to unbox and reveal my new-ish Louis Vuitton bag. The reason I say new-ish is because I actually bought this bag three weeks ago, and I haven't unboxed or looked at it. It's been sitting in the shopping bag for three weeks, which is very embarrassing. So I wanted to finally open it and start using it. So I purchased this bag in Portland, Oregon, in the United States. It's no sales tax. Yay for me. And here is the proof of purchase with the receipt. And it came in this box. And I didn't get the leather cord. Instead, they taped it with the stickers. There's that. And I also asked for a separate dust bag for the strap of the bag, and they actually gave me its individual little box, which I thought was so cute. So without further ado, let's actually open the bag. So I got a razor blade here to slice into it. Let's do that. Okay. And getting the lid off. Oops. Here is the dust bag. Let's put this in place. So it doesn't get her away. Okay, so here is the dust bag. And they actually left the sticker on the bag. I don't know why, but that's cool. And it's a flap dust bag. It opens to show the speedy. Bandoulier 25. Let's unfold that. Ooh, okay. So I have wanted this bag for probably two years. Ever since I saw it come out and like I saw other people use it and wear it, I've wanted this bag. And I didn't originally like the Speedy because it is a top handle and I don't get drawn to top handle bags normally. But when I saw that they came out with the strap, I kind of fell in love with the bag. And originally I wanted the Demi event print. And I went into the store in January to actually buy the 25 and Demi event because that was my favorite canvas. Although now that I've used several of the Demi event bags, I don't think I like that it's coated leather because it's really stiff and it pulls on my hair and it hurts. And I feel like the straps always fall off and it doesn't stay. And I really prefer my like Vachetta monogram items much more. So I went into the store to buy the 25 in Demi Ben, and I when I say every single person in the store, I mean the store was empty, so every employee, an essay in the store at Louis Vuitton, which was at least 10 people, was like, you can't get the 25, you have to get the 30, and then you know it has to grow with you as you age and move through life, and the 25 is just too small. I bought the 25 like 20 years ago, and I regret it. I should have gotten the 30 because you know I was a size two, and I'm like a 14, and you know the 25 looks ridiculous, and I should have just bought the 30 when it was 200 plus dollars, and so on, so on, so on. I mean, I was, I came in to buy the 25. I was like dead set on it. My heart was set on it. I finally decided after two years of like thinking and being on the fence whether or not I should buy the bag. So after that, I was in the store for about an hour and a half, which never happens to me. I'm not really a big shopper. Like I do like pre-shopping, like I shop online, I read reviews, do research, watch videos, you know, yada 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 and then when I go to the store I already know exactly what I want and it, it's so rare for me to just like spur of the moment buy something and being there I tried on the monogram 35 I mean 30 sorry the monogram 30 and the 25 and Damia Ben and they didn't have the 30 in Damia Ben and I had asked them to get it in because they just convinced me so much I mean they were almost like pressuring me to not get the 25 and everything I would like about the 25 they would be like no you know it's too small the opening is too small you can't fit anything inside you know and they were kind of really talking me out of the 25 and I mean it's only a $20 price difference so I didn't think it was because of the price that they were doing that because it's only a $20 difference it's not that big a deal and so here let me put the bag here you can admire it while I tell you my long saga of a story I mean, because I mean, it's bad enough that I waited two years to buy this bag, right? I, when I came to buy it, they convinced me out of it. So now it's been two and a half years because it is July now, but 
they convinced me out of buying the 25 and to get the 30 instead, and I did. And at the time, I was finishing my last semester in university, so the 30 actually worked out well for me because I could fit my laptop in it. I have the 11-inch um, MacBook Air, so that fit in there vertically very well. I could carry all my papers, like folders, anything I would need. Like, I could carry three cans of water because I drink a lot of water, so I could, and I like sparkling water. I could carry three cans without a problem for the day. And that did work out well for me. I did get the Demia Ben, but when I wasn't using it for school and I graduated in May, and so when I wasn't using it for school anymore, that bag was ridiculous for me because I carry like five things with me. I don't even have a full-size wallet. And it was just completely like squashed. It was like this, just hanging on me. It was ridiculous. And it was big and I felt like it kind of swallowed me up and overwhelmed me. And another thing, which is what kind of made me not like Demi Event bags as much because I had the Neverfull in Demi Event and I sold it. I started hating that bag because the straps would pull on my hair and fall off like every three and a half seconds and pull out my hair and it really hurt because I have long hair and it would get tangled up and it would pull it out because the straps wouldn't stay on my shoulder. And I noticed that happening with the Demi Ben bag as well. Like, I mean, sorry, the Speedy bag because I would put it on my shoulder and it would like get tangled and it, if I did a crossbody. And I did like the bag handheld as the 30, but I'm not really a person to just only carry my bags handheld. And so when compared to the like Vachetta monogram pieces, like the leather is so soft and supple, it doesn't do that. So when I went to buy the 25, like I originally wanted to six months ago, I did choose to get the monogram instead. Oh, this is the back side. And I am really happy. I mean, it's didn't work out at first and it's like this long-winded, ridiculous story and you know, first world problems and whatever, but I'm really glad that I finally chose to get this one in the monogram and that I finally got the 25 like I wanted. And I did end up selling the 30. And I didn't lose out. Like, I mean, I used that bag every single day for, I want to say like five months. So I got my money's worth out of that one. So there it is. That's my story. So this... Let's get to the bag now. This is the, obviously this BD Bandelier 25 in monogram. Comes with the untreated Viquetta leather pieces, the handles and the sides. Now this bag was made in the USA. So the stamp right here, you can't see. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, it doesn't say made in because it has the cloth tag on the inside somewhere. Oh, well, it's right there. But this smells so good. For, okay, this is crazy. My husband thought I was ridiculous because this smells like watermelon to me. Like, it legit smells like watermelon. Like, if you have watermelon sitting out on the counter, that's what it smells like. I don't know. I like it. So, the size dimension of it is 9.8 inches in length, which is the 25 centimeters. Um, 7.5 inches in height and 5.9 inches in width. Now this is like, everybody says, the bottomless black pit of bags because you can fit so much in there. And I will say that this opening is very, very small compared to the 30. Like this opening is teeny, teeny, tiny. Like to see and to get things out. But I really like that it's smaller because I mean, you would think that the 30 is only like this much bigger, right? Like five centimeters. But it's bigger all around. Like if you compare, if you Google a picture of the two of them side by side, like that one is much higher and much wider and it fits probably twice as much because I could easily fit one of those little, um, you know those airplane neck pillow things that you use to fly, but I can't fit it in here. So that's kind of unfortunate. I can't, I mean, I'm gonna obviously, I'm going on vacation in a month and I'm gonna take this with me on as a carry on to see how it's gonna work and I'm just gonna put the neck pillow in my husband's bag, so we'll we'll just see how that works out. So the size of the bag is actually stamped right here. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get a hang of this whole filming 
set up the thing, so I do apologize for that. Now the handle drop is exactly the same on any size speedy, and the pocket inside is also the same as any of the speedies. Now this pocket currently does have, yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so it has the dust bag with the locking keys that I will show you in a minute, and the cards. So this is It's really bright. The coated fabric and the cowhide leather trim. And this is the product card. Which I'm sure you could find the Speedy Bandelier easily on the Louis Vuitton site because I'll show you have it. Oops. Right up right here. So it, it currently retails for $1,370 in the States. And I live in Oregon, so I don't have to pay sales tax. Which is great, but I mean, so plus like $200 for tax, I guess. So a little dust bag, and there's the brass lock that is embossed, Louis Vuitton Paris, LV on the side, the two keys. Now, I don't actually use the locks to lock my bag. I don't know. I've never done that. The date code is right here and it was made in the 21st week of 2015 so I mean that wasn't long ago it was like maybe a couple mo month or two and it is just this black fabric textile lining now this is the new model speedy which I love. My um, 30 Bandelier was also the new model Speedy, and it has the puffed up sides of the tabs. I don't know if you can see that. I really prefer the new model of the Speedy. It has a much thicker canvas. It has the reinforced leather tabs. It also has the, um, like, they're longer, like on the inside, like the stitching. Is more reinforced, I guess. You have to compare it to the like original model to really see the difference. Otherwise, it kind of looks the same. The biggest difference, in my opinion, is like before these tabs were flat, and now they are raised. You can tell, which I love that. I actually really prefer the raised ones. And the. The bandoliers do feature the double zipper on the top where you can you know, lock the bag with this lock, which I don't know if I would do. We'll see how I feel about it with like traveling with it. Cross body, so there's that. And then this is the this is the other box that she gave me. I asked for a drawstring bag for the um the crossbody strap, and she actually gave me a dust bag, which, not a dust bag, a whole box for it, which was really cool, I think. It's like a drawer with the dust bag. And the strap. So it comes in three pieces, and you can do the bag in three different lengths. Now these clasps are engraved with Louis Vuitton. And I think, no, these are not the sides, okay. Now, if you do ask them for things like, you know, an extra dust bag or you know, a specific type of box or anything like that, like they are usually, in my experience, very accommodating. If they have it, they will give it to you, most likely, like in my experience. And if they don't, well, that's just the essay being kind of rude and you shouldn't. I don't think shop with that essay again, in my opinion. And what was I going to say? I don't remember. Okay, so the crossbody strap does not say how long it is on the Louis Vuitton website. So let's put this together. I'm pretty short, so let's do it on the shortest setting. So you can do it. Okay, so you can do it. Oh, I already did it for the three, okay. 
So you can do only the two pieces and have it as a shoulder bag. Or you can have it as a crossbody bag. So this is the crossbody option. So this is it on the shoulder. And this size actually fits me so much better because I am only 5'2 and 110 pounds. I'm pretty small, like I'm pretty petite. And so the 30 really did overwhelm me. It was huge on me. And so this is what it looks like. And see, like, since this is small, even if it fluffs down a little bit, it's not as much as that one because, like, the 30 would just go like this. And that's what it would look like on me when I walked around. I just looked ridiculous. So that's the three straps. And then for the two straps, you can take the middle one out. This middle part. And you can just have this as a shoulder bag. Which I think is really cute too. It's a good length for me, like that's the kind of length that I like for my shoulder bags. And help, and held. Now I did hear from uh, some YouTube videos and actual essays in the store that you should let Bibiqueta sit out in the air for three days before first using the bag so that it can breathe and oxidize naturally before you contaminate it with any of your natural oils. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this sit out for three days before I use it. And let me know what you guys think and if you like the bag or if you have this bag or if you would like to see any additional videos and thank you very much for watching this video and my previous video. I had so much fun filming that one and I want to do more in the future and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below or any suggestions for videos would be great because I like watching videos but I have no idea what you want to see from me so if you want to see anything at all. So just let me know and have a good day. Bye!